We must have done something awful in our past lives to deserve this hell. Oh, just wait until university. According to Dylan, it only gets harder. He said Miguel's tough. Dylan, I was a Satan child anyway. Question, who's still bitter over last year? Answer, oh, Marco Del Rossi. <laughs> Stop. I am so over that guy. I've already forgotten who we're talking about. Great. So then let's talk about Stalker Boy, Tim, your lovesick shadow. Guys, can you be nice? You know we've been sort of seeing each other. Emphasis on the sort of. You guys haven't even been on a date yet. Hey, you guys. Wow, it looks like a brain bomb went off in here. <laughs> yeah. Well, studying for exams is killer, but you are welcome to join the carnage if you dare. Super, first round of caffeine's on me. Oh, I'm out, my ride just showed up. He's in town? Paige, why didn't you tell me? Hey, Marco. Hey, hi. Uh, what are you doing here? A man? Uh, actually, uh, the seat's saved for someone. My boyfriend, Tim. Tim, meet my ex, Dylan. He was, he was just leaving. Later, Marco. No cell phones. No bathroom breaks until you're done. Okay. Flip them and have fun. So, igneous rocks are pure, whereas sedimentary rocks are made of other forms of rocks. See? Why do I care? Because if you fail, Dad will send you to summer school again. Derek. Metamorphic rocks. Are rocks that have been transformed with heat and pressure. Somebody's been listening to me. Somebody's a bigger nerd than you. That's his way of saying we'd be flunking out right now if it weren't for you. Well, I do aim to please. We still studying tonight? Maybe we can order pizza and talk. If I fail, which I did, I'll be stuck at Degrassi forever. That it's settled. Tonight, we need to have some fun. What? We have an English exam tomorrow. Which you studied for nonstop for weeks. If you don't relax and have some fun, you're going to crack, Marco. So who's with me? Nice, there's this place, the other team. It's a gay club, so we don't have to worry about getting hit on. Great. Right. Yeah, great. So, are you gonna ask him to come? I don't know, do I really wanna be his first serious boyfriend? I mean, I start university in the fall, and... And Dylan's back in town. Oh. He's single, has been for a while, and he knows he screwed up. Paige, when I say Dylan broke my heart, I mean that he took it, froze it, he then dropped it from the CN Tower and ripped it to shreds, okay? Okay. All I'm saying, if you're so ready to move on, then why aren't you doing it? Liberty, can we talk to you? Uh, this is exactly why I put the schedule in the fridge. Home by five, chemistry until seven, tutoring till eight. <laughs> it's important. More important than Mr. Ellis's chem exam? Yeah, I doubt that. The adoptive parents phone today. They're moving to Seattle. But no, that's impossible. We have an open adoption. Well, legally the baby is theirs. They have the right to move. And my rights? 
Oh yeah, I gave those up. They asked if you'd like to see him once more before they leave. To say goodbye. I said goodbye when I gave him up. I can't believe I'm standing in line for something other than library books. <laughs> I can't believe my brain is working well enough for me to even speak English. Hey, <laughs> this is really exciting. I mean, I've never been to a gay club before. Have you? Uh, hey, yeah, uh, yeah, I came here once with... Uh, hey, look, uh, the line's moving. Let's, okay. So, Upper Canada, because it's up the St. Lawrence River. Lower Quebec, because it's at the end. All right, pizza. You each owe me eight bucks. So, that's history. What next? Biology? Can I ask you something personal? Sure, I'm all ears. It's about your baby. Did you ever consider keeping him? Like when you held him. Was it hard to let him go? Get out. I'm sorry. I'm adopted. It's just something I always wondered. Get out! I mean it! I don't care if you were adopted, dropped by a stork, or abducted by aliens. Get out! busy telling me how much you live for the Oscars. I live and die for them. Oh, my, me too. So, quiz me. Okay, um, Best Supporting Actress, 1994. Um, uh, oh, Diane Weist, Bullets Over Broadway. Despite Uma Thurman's outstanding performance in Pulp Fiction. Performance in Pulp Fiction, I know. No, I did. Wait, just hear me out. I miss us. I miss you. You're cute, you're smart, and you're funny. And I made a huge mistake. Yeah. You did make a mistake, Dylan, tonight. Coming here. I'm with Tim now. He's my boyfriend. Um. Sorry for interrupting, but I was just gonna go get some more water and... Okay, so Jane Eyre, which I finished reading an hour ago, Okay, think of it this way. I'm Rochester. Of course. Yeah. Tim <laughs> is Jane Eyre, you know, because he's simple, sweet, and uncomplicated. And Dylan is Crazy Bertha, locked away in the attic. Okay, it's about moving on and putting the past behind you with the right people. Just think of it like salvation. Oh. Hold up. There must be another email from Tim. Okay, that thing is one step away from you becoming an android. It's from Dylan. We are through, over. So don't send me stupid little emails. You came all the way to my place to tell me not to email you? Right. This is so not over, not even close. <laughs> Why now, huh? What is with this stalker routine? Why, you just happen to be home for the summer? You don't get it, do you? I'm home for the summer because of you. I still love you, Marco. Don't. Don't call me. Don't text me. Don't email me. Don't even think about me. 
Leave me alone. All right, guys, time's up. Pass them in. I didn't even finish the exam. How did you get it done so quickly? Maybe because I never started. So, I know you only have one more exam left, and I should have given this to you before, but... Oh. <laughs> wow. Thanks. Good luck never goes out of style. Time's up, everyone. Hand them in, and congrats. Exams are done. I'm so tired, I think I might have answered the second essay question with white stripes lyrics. <laughs> what do you say to a little Ryan Reynolds movie fiesta tonight? Oh, yes, I am so in. Oh, but... Tim, I kind of promised him a date. Oh, um, well, bring him. We'll give him a good going over, make sure he's good enough for our Marco. And, uh, the Satan child? Hockey practice. So? So, I'll bring the chips. Good, see cool. ya. It was one stupid exam. Worth 30% of your grade. So? You don't care? I don't understand you. This isn't the girl I know. Harold, stop. Derek and I are supposed to be studying here tonight, Dad. And you're supposed to be at a play, remember? Uh-huh. This isn't over. We won't be late. I appreciate you being the demon seed and taking the heat off me, but I have a reputation to uphold. Email Anatomy 101. To Albert Einstein. <coughs> Dad doesn't know who I am anymore, so let's really mess with his mind. Okay, um, don't freak. Dylan promised he'd be out of here by now. What? It's no big deal. We'll be watching in the basement anyways. Come on, everyone's downstairs. Oh, Antoine, before you go, man, check out my tattoo. Dude! <laughs> um, Marco, what about the uh, Ryan Reynolds movie fiesta that you promised? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Cool. Hockey practice is canceled. Why don't you guys join me for a little poker? Texas Hold'em? No, thanks. I think we're going to pass on that one. I figure you'd wimp out. Excuse me? Come on, Marco. Who are you kidding? You're always playing it safe. You're way too chicken to gamble. Really? What's the buy-in? And here's to dressing me in overalls till grade nine. Um, you might want to pace yourself. 
Yeah, well, I think that you think that I think that you think. Attention, software glitch. I think you've had enough. No, no, no. Mom and Dad are gonna kill me. I'm stupid, useless, messed up. Liberty, it's a mirror. Your face didn't break it this time, so why so upset? Because my baby is gone. He's gone across the country and I abandoned him. I never got to meet my birth father. Not sure I ever will. She couldn't take care of me. So she made sure I ended up in a family that could. I know it was hard for her to do. How do you know that's what happened? She told me. I mean, in a letter. She gave me a sort of treasure chest. I see your two. And I raise four. See you back. By raising ten. Tim. I'm sorry, they're all messy. N Bet's on the table. All in. Marco, maybe you should fold. You sure you want to do that, Del Rossi? Pretty reckless. Being reckless is all about, my friend. Just doing, not thinking, hurting whoever you want in the process. What the hell is your problem? What do you want? I want to know why you hurt me. How you, how you can just hurt me like that, Dylan? I... I don't know. But I've apologized and I've tried to make things better. So I'm not gonna keep beating myself up just because you're stuck. No, I'm not stuck. You are. Date Tim. Played safe. Date a bunch of guys. That doesn't change the fact that everything comes down to you and me. Everything. Dylan's crazy. I mean, what he said was totally out of line. I mean, because, you know, we're good for each other, right? Tim, you're great. <laughs> oh, you're perfect, actually. And I'm, hey, look, I'm really proud of all the steps you've taken this year. Well, it's all because of you. And I'm thinking that, you know, you're gonna be away next year, but Tim. I'll come visit, and I got a bus schedule, and I mapped out some times. Tim. I, I wanted to move on. You and I, we connected, but Marco, I still... I get how difficult these things can be, and how much Dylan meant to you. And that's exactly the point. Tim, he still does. You used me. No. No, no, I wouldn't do that. I'm really sorry. Go back to your stupid, lying, cheating ex. Because you know what, Marco? You were perfect for him. You're both grounded for a month, and I didn't even get to see a Liberty Puker butt so. <laughs> Just what every kid needs to know. The inner workings of Degrassi. Well, it's part of you, right? Here it is, issue number one of The Crimson Kid. Comic book, JT? Yeah. Do you have any idea how much that's worth? It's my most valuable possession, and I want him to have it. 
Well, I'd like it if both of you put something in as well. I want the baby to know he had lots of good people thinking of him. Dylan, if you ever hurt me again, I... I won't. Hey, even idiots grow up at some point. I'm a slob. Okay? I'm reckless. And I'm your exact opposite. But you mean everything to me, Marco. And I want another chance. You are such a jerk. What? What? I... 